Yesterday, the Home Office signed his deportation order. Today, a European court awarded him a cheque for £2,500. The radical preacher Abu Qatada was one of 11 suspected terrorists handed compensation today because the European Courts of Human Rights ruled the British government had acted illegally in locking them up without trial after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. The Home Secretary, Jackie Smith, said she was very disappointed by the decision. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Israel, has this. For the unlawful policy of detention without trial, the price the UK government must pay, £79,026.54. So for 11 former detainees, still suspected terrorists, who were locked up in Belmarsh prison for up to three and a half years following 9-11, the compensation award amounts to an average of £2,500 each when legal costs are removed. Their total claim to the European Court of Human Rights was much higher, amounting to more than £1.8 million for unlawful detention. In the case of A and others versus the United Kingdom... But the judges reduced that to, in effect, a token award, accepting the government's justification that at the time there was a national emergency threatening the life of the nation. One claimant was Palestinian refugee Mahmoud Abu Rida. He sought a quarter of a million pounds for the three years spent in Belmarsh, then Broadmoor, and the resulting mental suffering. This is not money. This is nothing. This is not money. What is 3,000 pounds? This is not money. To give people, put people three and a half years locked up, no trial, no charge, and with, with the torture in Belmarsh, with everything, and you give them this money? This is rubbish money. I don't want this money, give him back. The radical cleric Abu Qatada is another to receive compensation, a day after the law lords okayed the government's efforts to deport him to Jordan. He asked the court for £175,000, but got just two and a half thousand. A penny would have been a rather more appropriate quantum than the European Court would have been able to send a proper message about exactly uh, who and what this man is. Detention no without trial was highly controversial and only abandoned when the House of Lords ruled the government was in serious breach of human rights. Lord Hoffman famously said the real threat to the life of the nation comes not from terrorism but from laws such as these. Today the Strasbourg court echoed that view. Even in the most difficult of circumstances, such as the fight against terrorism, and irrespective of the conduct of the person concerned, the European Convention prohibits in absolute terms torture and inhuman or degrading treatment and punishment. It is very, very important that governments are not allowed to lock people up without charge or trial and throw away the key. The government got away with this for a lot of years because they were foreign nationals. But let's remember, somewhere in the world, everyone is a foreign national. Four of the 11 former detainees have left the UK. The remaining seven are denied bank accounts. Abu Qatada is in prison. The European Court said the British government could set up individual accounts in order for them to receive the compensation, but more likely is that the Home Office will to transfer payment to their lawyers within the next three months.